So here's the rough script. Uh, and kind of got an idea of what I'm going to say. What I thought I'd do is start off with Jerry leaning against this thing. Maybe I have a, oh, I have a book in the car he can read. He's over there. Yeah, he's gonna be standing here. Originally, he was sitting, so that's okay. He can just be standing here. And then we'll come up alongside of him. We'll come over here. And Dan, you come on. You go the back right. of him. Yeah, you go on his right, off his right shoulder, and I'll be off his left shoulder. On the paper you had, I was on the left. I'm just telling you. Here you go, change your shit. Clears out that way. Dan stops at Jerry's left. Dan stops at Jerry's left. If you actually, that's safe. Yeah, all the way up is safe. I thought you had. I thought the one you bought was bone handled. I have one bone handled. This one I got a new. This is a new one. Yeah. So if you actually kind of. Do you want to go? Yeah, assist it a little bit. It'll snap open just the one. Oh, just the one side. That's where I should yeah. run up. If you assist it a little bit, it might, yeah, look better on camera. Just the, it kind of has that wow factor. Got it. Oh, <laughs> See, mine opens like that. I, have, I just want this one. Let me turn it down. Yep. Whose flavor is that? I'm too blind to tell. This is Benjamin. Oh, nice. I bought it uh, mainly because the movie Heist with uh, Danny DeVito. He has it and he goes to the, uh, cut the guy, the, uh, the boat. He thinks the rails on the boat is the goal trying to cut it open to see if it, it'll uh, show. But ever since I saw that, I was like, whoa, what the heck is that knife? And when I finally found out what it was, it looked up the price, and I was like, oh, whoa. And I was at Ace Hardware at Howl. And I was, and they had it. And so I was like, oh, that's so cool. But you know, they were like, oh, box lid, you know? So he got to yeah. talking to the manager there, Tim, and he's like, we were talking to him about something else, and he says, he goes, and he goes, you know what, you guys are so awesome, and he was calling us in his office and being all friendly with us, and he goes, you know what, he goes, anything out there, he goes, you let me know, if you're interested in it, I'll give you my rock bottom price, and we're like, we're like, this is a hardware store still, and I said, well, I really like that bench made you got out there, but I said, you know, I said, I, I just can't bring myself to it, and he goes, no, what, what is it, so we went out there, and he grabbed it, he goes, oh, this one, he goes, hang on, he goes, let's go to my office, we're going to his office, he goes, I'll tell you what, he goes, how about 170? I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. And so we get to the registers. We're ringing it up, and she goes, well, what about the percentage off of money? He goes, throw that on too. So out the door was 168. I, yeah, $200 to, online, they're like 250 I said, I couldn't turn that down. I'd be stupid. Yep. I think it should be, now Jerry, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. Like, right, yeah. <laughs> right, or you can do the flick before, we can do this the easy way, or... All I can say is I'm glad that the knife is a substantial size, because if you're having him have it, like anything you want... Well, I wasn't going to have bring that big Bowie knife he brought, but yeah. I thought, you know, we got the switchblade, and it's sort of a, sort of well, has I a bought, gangster I, feel to it, I right? I bought those things for this kind of yeah, stuff. See, that's why I like Pigeon, because they got a little bigger. It was really big in our hands. Oh, okay. yeah. So, so what I was thinking is, we'll do it over here because I get some good light over there. And um, uh, when we come on, you, know, you can lead on first and go to Jerry's left. This is Jerry. You know, this side to him. You know, let's be sort of staring at him. And I'll be at the other side. And then I'll say something along the lines of, Hey Jerry, listen. Uh, Batjack doesn't have a mustache. He's the only one of us who doesn't have a mustache. So we're gonna need your mustache. I'm gonna say that. 
I don't know, fellas. That's my face. Yeah, I can't really do that. So, you could. It'd be like, and then we look at each other. Look at each other. And then what I'm going to do is stop it. We're going to cut there. And I'm going to get a cut of just my face looking at you and going, Dan. Or should I not look at him? Should I just be looking at Jerry? Well, Dan, should I snap my fingers? Yeah, I almost have to. John, look at, after look at my, my mustache is attached to my face, we look at each other. And we both look at Gary. And then we'll, and then Jerry says, Well, Jerry says, I, then Jerry says I, I can't actually give you my mustache. Yeah. And then you go, Dan. Alright, we're going to cut at, there, at that point. We'll get me looking at you going, Dan. And then we'll get you doing the. Jerry. Jerry. It's hard. Right. And then we'll go back out, uh, and Jerry can do the thing where he looks up at us and says, Listen, we're fellas, up. you got a better idea. And at that point, you'll walk on. So you'll, you'll walk on. You just cross in front of everybody. So if you want to go looking at your phone or whatever the case, play with the dead cat, you just walk on and we'll, we'll, we'll see you over there. And what we'll do is the three of us are going to grab you. Oh, it's the Oh man, yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't seen a photo of it. Oh, that was Wait always... a minute. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it looked better in a photo. Oh, it looks great, man. What are you talking about? I thought it should be a whole other one. Yeah, that looked good back then. And you sit there and say, hey, I kind of like this. Then we're going to let you go, and then you walk back to where you were. And you there, or you can just step in front of him and go, Oh man, this is getting bad. <laughs> 